Sorry, I was a little late. I had to get a fresh vodka soda. Um, and I have it. New Orleans, how are you? Oh, hell yes. This is my absolute favorite city to black out in. <laughs> I just realized I'm dressed like a backup singer and I fucking love it. Uh, I'm like the one white one with a tambourine that they're like, they don't need her. Um, I'm so happy to be here. This is a jumpsuit. I don't do regular pants. I hate pants. Whenever I'm sitting down, I am button the top button. Yeah, I wanna live, I wanna feel good. I deserve freedom. When I go to the movies, I unbutton and unzip my pants. And then I'm usually too high to remember I did that. So then I'm just walking out of the movies and people are like, wow. <laughs> she really liked Cars 3. <laughs> You look just like Rihanna, and I'm so mad you're in the front row. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck? I'm the pastiest woman. Please, let's get Rihanna in the front row to throw me off. No, you're beautiful, you're great. You're cute too, but she's better than you. Um, but you knew that, you knew that. We're all hotter than all of our boyfriends. We are, that's just what it is. I travel a lot of places, and when you go to a town and the women are uglier, you're like, something happened here. Uh, <laughs> something tragic took place. Yeah, I don't know if it was like an oil spill, but this is not the first batch. Uh, I got a Brazilian last week. Oh my God. That's a woo for my butthole. Um, the woman doing it was like, any special occasion? And I go, no. Well, it's my dad's birthday. <laughs> Like immediately, I was like, ah, how do I suck those words back? And she was horrified, horrified. She stopped mid-pull. Do you know how mean that is? This is a woman who looks at strangers' clits for a living and my words made her uncomfortable. Like, do you know how disgusting of a human being you have to be? And then I tried to make it better. I was like, oh no, 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 he lives in Indiana. Like that was the reason we weren't together. Like, no, I know he's my dad, but, <laughs> you know, the distance. Um, my mom keeps trying to fuck him, so. We're on a break. Uh, I'm from Indiana. Wow, great. Uh, I'm from Indianapolis, though. That's why I'm, like, allowed to be up here talking. Um, people are always very surprised when they find out I'm from Indiana. I have more of, like, a Connecticut cunt vibe. I can say that word, I marched, so. I actually didn't, I was on vacation, but I walked around a lot and that felt important too. Um, can you guys smoke weed here? I have been. Um, <laughs> I know, I love it. Do you guys have dispensaries? No. Oh. Okay, even if you don't smoke weed, I highly suggest visiting a dispensary once in your life because everyone that works there is literally qualified to work nowhere else on earth. <laughs> I went to one in Portland, Oregon. The girl took my ID, looked at it, and goes, are you in town? I was like, am I already high? What is happening? <laughs> and then she went to scan my ID and goes, boop. With her mouth said boop. <laughs> it's like, yeah, bitch, this is your calling. Were you gonna work seasonally at H&R Block? This is it for you. <laughs> I live in LA now. I know my arms say otherwise. Uh, okay, well, that laughter felt hurtful. Uh, <laughs> I used to live in New York. Has anyone here ever lived in New York? Yeah, yeah what a piece of shit place. <laughs> People were like, best city on earth. I'm like, yeah, to see a stranger's dick maybe. Like, and specifically to see a stranger's dick you didn't want to see because sometimes you'll see a stranger's dick and be like, ooh. <laughs> I kind of spiced up my commute. Uh, 
I remember the first stranger's dick I didn't want to see. <laughs> yeah, that's a children's book I'm working on. <laughs> Teaches kids about colors and shapes. <laughs> it's like, ah, okay. <laughs> it's called Me Too. Um, <laughs> my first apartment in New York, I actually ended up having to move out of because we caught our super climbing on a ladder through our bedroom window to try and have sex with us. <laughs> what a New York moment! <laughs> Am I a Carrie or a Samantha? <laughs> the weirdest part about the whole situation, he had Keats. <laughs> it's like, listen, I don't want to tell anybody how to rape, but if the front door is an option, why this Romeo and Juliet bullshit? Luckily, I was not in the apartment when this super sexy time happened because I was at the Giants Monday night football game. Okay. I feel like that's a very important thing to point out because it's actually the first time the NFL has saved a woman from being assaulted. Oh, yeah. Did oh. that hurt your dicks a little bit? weak pieces of shit. <laughs> this is a fun game. Ladies, if you were sitting next to a man and he didn't like that joke, don't fuck him. <laughs> that's a bad man. That's a man that's gonna go on HGTV and be like, I don't want a nursery, I want a man cave. And you're like, run, bitch! Like, He's gonna come home with a Hummer, and that's the domestic violence car, so. <laughs> if it's yellow, don't even pack a bag. Get the fuck out of there. 